have to share this video. We'll try to make you think that his life is blessed when in reality his life is cursed. Let me give you an example. This dude, he'll have a bad criminal record. He'll have four different baby mamas. He got to work three to four jobs to pay child support to all of these different women, right? All of these women that he'd been with was cursed. They didn't have God, right? So understand this. Now, now watch this. Look at his life. He's a convicted felon. He got a criminal history. He got three to four different baby mamas. So he technically probably got four children that's from all of these different worldly cursed women. He got to keep paying child support to all of these women to avoid prison. But the disturbing part of this is that the disturbing part of the situation is this. He will try to make you think that that's normal. He will try to make you think that he's blessed. He will try to make you think that what he's going through is, is nothing. Brother, you cursed. Your life is cursed. Your situation is cursed. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to make people think that what you're doing is normal and what you're going through is normal. It's not normal, brother. Your life is destroyed and it's messed up. Okay? Your life is destroyed and your life is messed up. You got three to four different baby mamas. They all worldly. Okay? You got these children. You're paying. You, you are forced to pay child support to all of them to avoid prison. But you got to work three to four jobs. Okay? You don't got no life. All of these women was cursed. You don't have God. But, and then, you got bad criminal history. Okay, you're, you're convicted felon. You've been to jail for this, for that, for this, and for that. But, you're trying to make it look like your life is not cursed. Your life is cursed. Okay? And y'all got to watch out for these kind of people because they'll be trying to make you think that they're so blessed. When And when in reality, you're not blessed. Okay? brother your life is cursed okay your life is cursed due to you making all of these sick and and demonic choices your life is ruined so you just need to be honest about that but they're not going to be honest about that what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to quote all of these bible verses and try to speak things over their life but in reality your life is messed up brother it's messed up that's the reality of it okay that's the reality of it so I'm telling all of y'all, y'all got to watch out for these kind of people who be trying to make their curses look like blessings. You dudes out there be trying to make it look like that's okay. Brother, listen, it's not okay for you to have all of these different worldly cursed baby mamas. It's not okay for you to be in and out of jail. It's not okay for you to where you got all of these different children from all of these cursed women. You forced to pay child support to avoid jail. And yet, you're trying to make it look like you blessed. Yet, you're trying to make it look like that's normal. That ain't normal, bro. That That's not normal. Your, your life is ruined. Your life is messed up. Okay? It's not normal, brother. It's not. Then, let me give y'all some more examples. More people. You got more people who do stuff like this. They will waste nothing but years with their life. They will waste nothing but time. Right? I mean, they will let, look, 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 they will let five years go to waste, 10 years go to waste, 15 years go to waste, 20 years go to waste, 25 years, 30 years. You got people out there, y'all, who will waste nothing but years of their life, and then they will try to make it look like they just was living life. No, you wasn't living life. You just wasted 25 years of your life. 25 years of your life went down the hole. And they will try to make you think that that's normal. That's not normal. That's not normal for you to let 25 years go down a drain. That's not normal. That's dysfunctional type stuff. You let 25 years go down a drain because you because you was what? Because you was what? Partying, hanging out, traveling, doing you. Now, 25 years done passed and went by, you still didn't get Jesus in your life. You ain't getting
get Jesus in your life. That's not normal. That's not a blessing for you. That's a curse. That's not a blessing for you. That's a curse. You wasted 25 years chasing the world. Now, all of a sudden, you want to make it look like that's normal. Oh, you was living your best life. You was doing you. No, you wasn't living your best life because you didn't get nowhere. You was not living your best life. You did not get anywhere. You are 25 years in the hole. You didn't do nothing for God. You didn't do nothing for Jesus' kingdom. You didn't even follow Jesus. So 25 years of your life went down the drain. And yet you trying to make it look like you blessed. Yet you trying to make it look like that's normal. Watch out for these kind of people, y'all. They be trying to make it, look, look, look. They be trying to make their curses look like blessings. Oh I, oh, oh, I was just living my best life and I was just doing me. No, you wasn't. You wasn't living your best life. You basically wasted 25 years chasing the world and it got you nowhere. That's what happened. That's the truth. But let me tell y'all something. People are not going to tell the truth. They're going to try to make you... Listen, I'm telling y'all, people are very manipulative. They are going to try to make you think that stuff is normal and it's okay. So, so, all right. So you telling me it's okay to just waste 15 years? That's okay. So you telling me it's it's okay? So you telling me it's okay to waste 15 years of your life chasing the world? So you telling me it's okay to waste 20 years of your life chasing the world? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a curse. But you trying to make your curses look like blessings. You trying to make your curses look like blessings. And then you get people who, look, look, look. You get people who in the car world. You got people out there stressing, paying notes. And they trying to make it look like this is normal. They trying to make it look like they blessed. Listen, listen, you are stressing. You are stressing, paying car notes. That's not a blessing. Stress is not a blessing from God. God does not want any of us stressing. So here's the deal. You're stressing with a car note that you can't even afford to keep up. But you're riding around trying to look like you're blessed by God. How are you How are you blessed by God when you're stressing to pay a car note? How are you blessed by God when you are stressing to pay a car note? You're not blessed by God if you're stressing to pay a car note. But this is what you're doing. You're trying to look blessed and you're trying to make your curse look like a blessing. Listen up. It's a curse. Okay? It's a curse to be riding around stressing on how you're going to pay your car note. You got to work two to three to four jobs just to pay a car note. You got to break your back at a job and you got to do all of this overtime at a job just to pay your car note. That's not a blessing from God. That's not a blessing from God. And I don't care how any of you people feel. That is not a blessing from God. That's you trying to keep up with the Joneses. Okay? That's you trying to keep up with the Joneses. And it's a curse on you. And you trying to look blessed. You trying to make your curse look like a blessing. That's not a blessing. That's not a blessing. You're working two to three, four jobs. You're stressed out. You can't even live a great life because your life is focused on a car note, okay? You're, you're stressing. You're stressing at work. You're stressing. The moment you get that paycheck, half of that's gone on your car note. That's not a good life to be living. That's stressful. That's stressful. And you trying to make your curse look like a blessing. You can't deceive me. That's a curse. And I'm giving y'all the game. Don't let these people make y'all think that they so blessed by God and all this stuff. Listen, listen. Don't let these people make y'all think this. They trying to, they trying to make their curses look like blessings because they're not keeping it real. They're not keeping it real. Okay. And then you got people who be stressing with their house, stressing with their mortgage, stressing with your mortgage, trying to make your look, look, look trying to make your curse house look like a blessing. You got a mortgage to keep up and you stressed out. 
the little. You got a mortgage to keep up, and you stressed out. You going through it for this house. It's not a blessing, then. It's not a blessing. See what I, it, it's not a blessing. If it was a blessing, why you going through it? If it was a blessing, why are you going through it? That's all I want to know. If it's this blessing from God, why are you going through it? Why are you stressed? Your anxiety is up here. Your anxiety is up here. If it's a real blessing from God, why you are so stressed? Why your anxiety is up here? Because it's not a blessing from God. It's a curse from the devil. And you trying to make your blessing, and you trying to make your curse look like a blessing. You're stressed out over a mortgage. Your anxiety up here. You gone. You, you gone at this point. Because you want to keep a house. Because you want to keep a house. Because you want to keep a house. But it's not a blessing. It's not a blessing. But you want a house so bad to where you're stressed out. You're doing all this extra overtime at work. Your anxiety is up here. You're trying to live this fake life and keep up with the Joneses. And you're trying to look blessed. But the reality is you're really cursed. You're really cursed. It's not a blessing. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all got to go through all that, it's not a blessing. All of you people, listen up. If you gotta, look, if you gotta suffer and suffer and suffer, all this extra stress, all this extra anxiety to keep up car notes, to keep up mortgage payments, it's not a blessing. It's not a blessing. That's not a blessing. I'm keeping it real. People don't want to keep it real with y'all, but I'm gonna keep it real. If you gotta work two to three jobs to keep up your car note, if you gotta do all this extra overtime and break your back. Just to keep up your car note and your mortgage and all of this stuff that you chasing, trying to keep up with the Joneses, you are not blessed. It's not a blessing at all. It's not a blessing at all. And don't let and look and don't let these people fool y'all. Don't let these people make y'all think they so blessed by God because they got a house. They so blessed by God because they driving a certain type of car. These are not blessings. These are curses. Look at what these people are going through. Look at the stress they're dealing with. Look at the anxiety that they are under. They're stressed. They are stressed. It's not a blessing. It's not a blessing, bro. It's not. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to make their curses look like blessings. And let me talk to you married folks who are in these marriages and relationships. I got to talk to y'all too. Because y'all be trying to make it look like y'all marriages are so blessed by God. Y'all be, look, listen, I'm, listen, I got to keep it real. For all of you people out there who are married, and for all of you people out there who are in relationships, y'all, y'all be doing the same thing. Y'all be trying to make it look like y'all relationship is so blessed. Y'all be trying to make it look like y'all marriage is so blessed. If this stuff is so blessed, why are you going through what you are going through? If your relationship and if your marriage is so blessed, why are you going through what you were going through in it? Come on, man. You people be stressed out in these relationships. Y'all be stressed out in these marriages. If your, if your relationship and if your marriage is so blessed, why are you so stressed in it? Why are you going through what you were going through in it? Because it's not blessed. Because it's not blessed. Okay? It's not. Live up to the reality of it. Y'all be trying to make y'all curses look like blessings. I see through all that stuff. So let me tell y'all something. This is why I don't hate on people. Let me let, let me give y'all some game. L- let me give y'all some game. This is why I don't hate on people. This is why I don't become jealous of people. This is why I don't become envious of people. Because I see through the scams of people. You can't fool me with your house. You can't fool me with your car. You can't fool me with your relationship or your marriage because I look at what you're going through. I look at what you're going through. I look past all of the glamour. I look past the glamour. I look at what you're going through. I look at how you are suffering and you are stressed out. And and, and once I see that for what it is, it's no longer a blessing. It's It's no longer a blessing. You are finished. I'm just keeping it real. 
that's how I look at life, y'all. I look at what come with everything. That's how I look at life. I don't get wrapped up with the glamour of your job. I don't get wrapped up with your degree. I don't get wrapped up with your job title. I don't get wrapped up with your preppy, bougie family. I don't get wrapped up with your house or none of that. I don't get wrapped up with what kind of car you have. I look at what come with it. I look at what you are going through to keep it. Once I look at what come with it, and once I look at what you are going through to keep it, it's not a blessing at that point. It's not. It's a curse. It's a curse. And you are basically just trying to make your curse look like a blessing. You can't fool me. You can't fool me. And see, this is, and y'all, see, see, this is the difference with me. The vision that I have from God is powerful. I see things for what it really is. I see things for what it really is. I see people at these big corporate jobs. I see that for what it is. You got to sell your soul at them big corporate jobs. Okay? You can't follow God the way you really want to follow God at these big corporate jobs. Okay? You're stressed out paying the mortgage. You're stressed out paying your car notes. I, I see through all of that. You're stressed in these relationships. You're stressed in these marriages. And yet you trying to make your curses look like blessings. And I'm going to tell y'all, don't let people fool y'all with this. Because a person will really make you think they so blessed. But in reality, y'all, they cursed. Look at look at what come with their life. Look at what come with their lifestyle. Look, 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 look. Look at what come with the house. Look at what come with their houses. Look at what come with their cars. Look at what come with their jobs. When you look at that for what it is, you're going to be like, yo, you're not so blessed, bro. You're going through it. Look at what come with their relationships and their marriages. You're going to see it for what it is, and then you're going to look at them and be like, uh, you ain't so blessed. Your life is a nightmare, brother. Your life is a nightmare, lady. You ain't so blessed. But, but, but I get what you're doing. It's a scam. It's basically a manipulation tactic that people do. They try to make their curses look like blessings. Celebrities been doing this to y'all for years. Celebrities have been giving y'all this fake lifestyle as if they so blessed. Celebrities been pulling that scam on y'all for years. They give y'all this fake lifestyle like they so blessed. They're not blessed. They cursed. They cursed. And don't let and don't let people and don't let people deceive you. Don't let people make you think that they bless when they really cursed. Cause people, cause a lot of people are doing that, y'all. A lot of people are doing that. They're trying to make their curses look like blessings. Instead of them just being real about their life. But they're not gonna be real about their life. They're not, they're not gonna be real about their life at all. You women out there, I I'm sorry, but you women, I gotta talk to y'all too. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop with y'all scams. You, yo, 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 you women be going from dude to, yo, I'm going to keep it real. You women, y'all be going from dude to dude to dude to dude to dude. And y'all be trying to make it look like that stuff normal. It ain't normal, lady. You cursed. I'm Look, I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? Because I'm so sick of you women running y'all scams on men. It's disgusting to me. You women, y'all go from dude to dude to dude to dude to dude. Y'all break up with this one. Y'all break up with the next one. Y'all break up with the next one. And y'all break up with the next one. And then, look, look, look. Y'all break up with this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then y'all try to make it look like that's normal. Man, you cursed, man. You cursed. You cursed, lady. You cursed. You gone mentally. And you trying to make it look like the stuff you doing is normal. You trying to make it look like the stuff you doing is normal. Y'all, look at the stuff that these women be saying. Y'all, pay attention to the, the mental stuff that they be saying. These women be saying stuff like this. Oh, you know, I broke up with him. I'm going to the next chapter of my life. Ma'am, what are you talking about? You broke up with him and you're going to the next chapter of your life. Ain't really no next chapter, ma'am. You just basically broke up with him and you're just going to get with a new dude just to go through more stuff with the new dude. That's it. That's it. New man, new problems. That's technically it, right? That's y'all. I'm giving y'all the reality of this stuff. Women, women, yo, yo, yo. Women are so scammy and manipulative. It's sad. A woman will leave one dude and try to make you think she's going to this next level of her life. Yo, listen to the stuff they be saying. 
Listen to the stuff that these women be saying. Oh, I'm going to the next chapter of my life. I'm spreading my wings. Ma'am, you ain't going to the next chapter of your life and you ain't spreading your wings. You're basically leaving this one dude to just go get another dude. And you're going to go through either the same thing or you're going to go through worse stuff. But it's never going to satisfy you. It's never going to satisfy you because the only person who can satisfy you is Jesus. So there is technically no next chapter. It's a it's an illusion. It's an illusion, ma'am. You, ma'am, you cannot live your life going from God to God to God to God to God. Because now you got all of these guys running up in you. And you got to sleep with all of these guys. You got to sleep with all of these different guys. So basically, the next chapter of your life is you just technically sleeping with a new guy. That's it. You're not going higher. You're not climbing any mountaintop. The, ma'am, the next chapter of your life, the next chapter of your life is you just sleeping with a new guy. That's it. You're sleeping with a new guy. You're basically delusional. You're, you're basically de, uh, uh, delusional living in this fairy tale as if, as if you're going to the next level or the next chapter. You're basically just sleeping with a new guy. And when that don't work out, you're going to break up with him. You're going to break up with him. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to break up with him. And you're either going to go back to the old guy or you're going to break up with him and go to another guy. There is no next chapter. You're just hopping from guy to guy to guy to guy to guy. And all of these different men. And all of these different men are running up in you. That's it. But there is no next chapter and you're not spreading your wings. Okay? You're cursed. And what you're doing, you're trying to make your curses look like blessings. It's a scam. You, you, ma'am, you te- ma'am, you technically cursed. But what you're doing is you're trying to make your cursed life look like it's a blessing. Oh, I'm going to the next chapter of my life and I'm spreading my wings and I met a new man. And then when that don't work out and you're still not satisfied, you either go back to the old man or you go get another one. But you trying to make it look like this is normal behavior and you trying to make it look like you're so blessed and nothing. Is, and you trying to make it look like nothing is wrong with this. No, you curse. And you just hopping from guy to guy to guy to guy to guy talking about you going to the next chapter of your life, talking about you spreading your wings.